What's going on guys? Willy Tone Zone here. And today we have another superior drummer video on how to route your superior drummer drums into multi outputs in Ableton. There's literally no videos on this and I don't get it. So I must do it. So the first thing is you want to instantiate your own superior drummer plugin. So let's get that which we already have, that's good, great. You wanna go into Superior Drummer and we're gonna look at the mixer window here and make sure you have your drum kit ready before you get into this. I have this kit going here. So I'm gonna keep it kinda quiet just because I don't want it to overpower my voice. So we're gonna go to the mixer window and we're gonna go through each channel here. All the channels that you're gonna need is, you need kick in, kick out. You don't need the kick sub. I mean, you can have it if you want, but I'm gonna mute mine for now. So um, snare top, snare bottom, hi-hat, rack tom. You don't need rack tom three, because as you can see, I don't, I don't use it. Um, and then the floor tom, one and two, overheads and ambient. So we're gonna route each um, each instrument to their own output. So we'll start with the kick. We're going to put it to three and four, just like the Logic video, but it's going to be a little easier in Ableton. So three and four here. Kick out, we'll put five and six. Snare top, seven and eight. And bottom nine and 10. Hi-hat 11 and 12. Rack toms, 13, 14. 15, 16 for the second rack tom. And then... 17 and 18 for floor tom 1, 19 and 20 for floor tom 2, and then we're just going to use the overhead dynamics, so we'll do 21, 22, and the ambient microphone, which is going to be 23, 24. So, now that we've routed it to each of their outputs, we can go back into Ableton, and we're going to create a bunch of audio tracks, like, so we have, I think it's 11 tracks, 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, 11 tracks. So we'll just have to create 11 audio tracks here. So I'm just going to do that. You can do Command T to uh, make multiples here. So we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Great. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got all of those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them all and do Command G to put them in a group. Now they're in a group and we're just gonna call this drums. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Not, no, not, not drum ass, drums. All right, now we're gonna go to the first audio channel. Actually, no, we're gonna select them all again. And we're gonna uh, hit the superior drummer three um, in the input here. Like, this is like a bus in a way. So Superior Drummer 3 here. And then we're going to go Post Mixer. And here you'll see all the outputs, the individual outputs. I mean, they're stereo, but we'll just have to work with that. We'll mono them. So we're going to hit Superior Drummer. Um, we're just going to select one track and hit Superior Drummer uh three and four stereo output for the first kick. And then we're gonna keep going with the rest of them until we get to, I think, 23, 24, which is our room mic. All right, so now once when you've done that, you've um, successfully routed all your Superior Drummer things to a track. Now you just have to select all of them, hit auto or in, um, up to you. And you want to hit the record enable button while highlighting them all. So it kind of, so it batch records them. So we're going to have each instrument on their own track in an audio sample, which is going to be great. So I'm going to get a uh, little superior drummer grooves here and we're just going to put them in and... We'll see how this sounds. Um, 
let's see. I'm just gonna put some random grooves here. Uh, relaxed. Yeah, that's cool. This is probably not gonna sound good, but that's not the point. We want to know how to route all our stuff. So we hit play. Now, as you can see, you can see all the um, audio waveforms coming through, all the levels coming through the each track. So before we record something, I'm going to label all these tracks from starting with this one. So this is going to be kick in, and the next one kick out. Okay, now we've labeled all of them. So the next thing I'm going to do is that since those outputs are stereo, I'm going to use the Ableton Mono Capability plugin. It's in the Utilities thing. And I'm going to throw it on each plugin that needs to be mono. So let me show you here. So you want to go to Audio Effects and find the Utility plugin right here. And I'm going to put it on Kick In. And see how there's a mono button right here? You want to click that, all right? And now your track will be mono. You'll hear a difference. And we're going to put that, this exact same setting, for the rest of the plugins all the way up to the room, not the room track, the last floor tom here. So you should have mono on all of these tracks. Oh, I forgot the rack tom one, so let's get that. There we go. Okay, so now we have them um, on every track up to the floor tom too, and then the overheads in the room mics are going to stay stereo. All right, so keep that in mind, and now we're going to hit record. All right, amazing. That's that sounds um, that sounds good, good enough at least right now. <laughs> so. We still got to mix it all together, but that's how you route all your superior drums out into Ableton so you can mix them with your own plugins and do whatever you want and not have to deal with everything inside of the mixer thing here. This thing is useful, but I I would um, I would output all your tracks just to make it um, just so it's more flexible. You can use stuff. Use your own plugins and such. So I hope you learned something very useful, being able to route all your superior drums and having some things in mono and keeping other things in stereo. And try this in your own Ableton set and let me know how it goes. And make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later.